Now, red cards in sport are very rare, only reserved for the worst offenders, one who deserves to be sent off. Only the biggest foul guarantees a red card. Violence is one. Striking a player getting into a fight, the other. Definite red card potential. And usually, red cards lead to general disagreements and more anger. But this particular red card in Peru left many in splits. It's definitely ticked off the bizarre reasons box. A footballer, Sebastian Munoz, playing in Peru was red carded for, wait for it, urinating during the game. And the internet cracked up. Here's a report. Red cards are tough. They completely derail the game. And if it's a key player who has been red carded, then the course of the game can change. The whole mood shifts. Now, red cards are a very rare sight in football or hockey. You saw India receiving a red card at the Olympics for striking the opponent. It was only the fourth instance in 11 years. In football, the occurrences are higher. It's a more robust game. A football game in Peru turned into a rather bizarre episode. Let me set this up for you. Atletico Avejun was playing Cantor Silo FC in a Copa Peru game. With the game tied at nil-nil, Avejun received a corner in the 71st minute. But the game had been paused because Cantor Silo's goalkeeper was down injured. So, there was a bit of a halt there, with players of Cantor Silo FC crowding around the goalkeeper to check in on him. And that's when it all went down. Opposition player, Avejun's Sebastian Munoz, had already walked over to the corner flag to take the set piece. And as play continued to stay halted, Santiago saw his chance. He just couldn't hold it in any longer. So he turned around and decided to relieve himself while the others looked preoccupied. But of course, to his misfortune, one of the Cantorcillo players caught him urinating and promptly complained to the referee. In true headmaster style, the referee forgot everything else, marched over to Munoz and flashed him the red card. Luis's injury was clearly forgotten because no one cared after this. Munoz was in shock, but he could do nothing but to sheepishly exit the pitch. Football has given us enough moments to look back at and have a laugh. The internet, of course, had a field day with many tweets and retweets, the majority seeing the funny side to it, and also sparking off debates on whether this deserved a red card at all. But would you believe this isn't the first instance of a footballer urinating during the game next to the pitch? Former Arsenal goalkeeper Jens Lehmann jumped over the ad hoardings to quickly relieve himself right outside the pitch, jumped back in to stop the opposition's counter-attack before the referee could catch him in the act. Here's the more infamous one and a story for the ages. English player Lineker had a stomach bug and just couldn't stop himself from defecating right on the ground in the middle of a game against Ireland. This was during the 1990 World Cup. None of these guys were sent off though. Munoz, unfortunately, will go into the record books of red cards for a very unique reason indeed. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 network initiative. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished.
Bangkok Grand Prix events. We move across to the West Indies for the new expected events. Hello, I'm Alison Green, coming to you from Durban, South Africa. Today we have a special show. Start with a report on India's shifting nuclear costs. The first time since the show was given to the nuclear power. Hello and welcome to First Coast America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital.